फर्स्ट बैलेंसिंग प्राणायाम और नारी शोधन प्राणायाम एज नेम इंडिकेट्स नारी शोधन इट क्लीन आवर नारीज बेसिकली द इदा एंड पिंगला नारी एंड इट्स इज वेरी गुड टू मेंटेन ए बैलेंस बिटवीन नर्वस सिस्टम सो इन नारी शोधन प्राणायाम वी आर बेसिकली डूइंग ऑल्टरनेट नॉस्टल ब्रीदिंग सो द लेफ्ट नॉस्टल इज कनेक्टेड टू द राइट हेमोस्फेयर ऑफ द ब्रेन and right nostril to the left hemisphere of the brain and that way it is very good to develop a balanced nervous system it balances our sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and there are so many subtle effect of the nari shodhan pranayam this is basic practice every yoga program should be considered this nari shodhan practice so let us know how to do we have to adopt particular mudra these two index and middle finger should be placed at the eyebrow center by thumb we can close the right nostril and by ring finger we can close the left nostril so first we have to place these two finger at the eyebrow center first we have to close the right nostril then breathe in through the left then close your left breathe out through right again breathe in through right then close the right breathe out through left this is the stage one the preparation of nari shodhan pranayam in this practice you have to maintain a balanced ratio of inhalation and exhalation suppose that for inhalation your counting is 5 or 7 so for exhalation it should be only 5 and 7 so you have to maintain a balanced ratio and then there are so many stages after that we have to do uh, in inner retention external retention so all the components of pranayam can be used in this nari shodhan pranayam kumbhak is also very important thing but for kumbhak you have to be very careful any person having heart problem should not adopt any kind of kumbhak and person having having any kind of heart problem should not alter should not strain for the breath so during the pranayam practices you are not struggle with the breath but try to be in tune with the normal breathing pattern and try to adopt the practice nari shodhan pranayam is very effective practice it is very good for the concentration for memory your awareness should be eyebrow center so this is the practice of agya chakra this is very good for your um, uh, hypertension any kind of high blood pressure low blood pressure nari shodhan pranayam supposed to be very good for a sinus problem so there are so many effects you will see in your lesson